Hey there, Cruz here, just looking to bring you a video about uh, some of the challenges we're seeing in, in our clan and hoping to uh, uh, make a resource for some of these newer players uh, lacking some experience for them to reference and uh, hopefully use to help them improve their game. So what I've got is an example of, uh, of what it is that we're trying to avoid uh, so the player comes in here and he's looking to draw the clan castle. So there we've got the clan castle radius. Here comes a hog to draw the clan castle. Comes in, doesn't quite hit the radius, very close, but doesn't quite hit the radius. Tries another hog up top here, same thing, doesn't hit the radius. So now he's invested 10 troop spaces for essentially nothing didn't remove any defenses didn't draw the clan castle out so now in comes the golem he's just going to follow through with his attack uh, as though the clan castle has been drawn and killed successfully uh, so so far he's invested 10 troop spaces drops wall breakers in here almost loses them to a wizard blast uh, gets lucky there and does not here comes the clan castle drawn out by the golem Loses a couple more wizards in there, so now we're at 18 spaces. Baby Dragon of Valkyrie teeing off on his little golem. Um, now he's going to lose 30 more, so we've got 48 spaces gone to the clan castle right now. There goes his queen, and so now he's got a hero out because of it. I can't even count how many wizards just died there from that Baby Dragon. So you're talking 50 to 60 spaces gone because of... Uh, the clan castle, lack of planning, uh, lack of execution, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that we're looking to avoid so we can have more successful attacks. There's 60 spaces that this player could have used for another purpose that would actually deliver a three-star result. So um, let's, let's back out here and take a look at what this base looks like from a scout view. And... You look at one of the first things you want to look at is where that clan castle radius is because you need to know what you need to draw it uh, as far as troop spaces, and then um, and then after that, you know you got to figure out what it is that you're actually going to use to kill it once you get it drawn out, if that's what you decide to do because you can either draw it out and kill it, you know, outside the base, or you can uh, bring troops that will effectively um, kill the clan castle, defending clan castle on the fly. Uh, in this case, the, the replay that we watch, he probably was prepared to kill it on the fly, wanted to draw it out, and then ended up kind of just, you know, fumbling the execution on uh, the draw just because of, you know, no planning. So um, the only thing that I saw when I was looking at this base was the clan castle overlaps and extends beyond this archer tower. So I bet that's the ideal spot for a clan castle draw here. If you bring a hog, drop a hog right outside that elixir drill, he's going to walk right into that archer tower. Now another thing you want to watch out for, uh, this barb king isn't going to just stand there and watch that happen. So he's going to go out there and start hacking away at those hogs. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have a couple. Uh, that are going to last long enough to get all that clan castle out um, and then you'll be able to safely draw it out to the perimeter. Uh, where exactly you draw it is up to you. Um, usually people throw a hut or, or something out in the perimeter so that you can you can uh, draw it out with an archer. So something like this, you could plop an archer. Uh, that archer tower does not extend beyond that elixir collector so you could drop an archer right outside this elixir collector and pull the clan castle over there if you want to. Uh, he threw a hut out here. That mortar range isn't going to touch that hut, so you could throw an archer there. Um, and so those are the kinds of things that you want to look for when you're pr planning your attack. You know, okay, uh, you know you're going to have to have at least two hogs to pull the clan castle. So there's ten spaces. And then you know that you're going to need an archer. To throw on this builder's hut if that's what you want to do and then you're going to need something to kill it uh, you're going to want to bring something that's versatile that's going to be able to kill pretty much anything usually wizards are a pretty safe bet and then you want to tank in front of them so that because wizards aren't going to take a, a lot of damage either so uh, things like that I mean we can get into that in other videos but um, you want to make sure that you're thinking about answers to some of these 
issues that you could potentially run into when you're planning an attack and especially before you hit that attack button. So um, while you're while you're looking at the base, you're looking for the clan castle, you're looking for spots to pull the clan castle out if that's what you need to do. But then also you got to look at things like this. You've got cannons, you've got mortars sticking outside of the base. Uh, those are going to draw. If you're going to choose to bring uh, giants or golems, uh, those buildings are going to be attractive to those uh, troops because they're going to uh, they favor those those buildings defenses first. So uh, if you're gonna if you think you're gonna drop a golem right outside this dark elixir drill and it's gonna walk into this wall, uh, you're probably gonna be pretty shocked when he walks down here to this cannon. So you you need to be prepared for those things, and uh, you need to expect that kind of an action out of out of your troops. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems. Um, getting getting tanks in the right spaces that you you want them so that they're attracting fire. Um, other things that I'm commonly seeing and we saw in the replay was uh, sending wall breakers into a wizard tower. It's very hard. I don't care who you are. It's very hard to get wall breakers in between the fire of a wizard tower. It's splash damage, so they're going to kill all your w wall breakers at one shot um, if they're the right level, and then. Um, they fire pretty rapidly, so it's going to be very hard to fit a group of wall breakers in between wizard fire, and it's you know it's frankly just best to avoid it. Uh, so you maybe you want to throw a golem into the wall in front of him, so he's that's drawing that fire. You can see the range. A golem in on that that wall is going to draw fire, and then maybe you choose to bring the wall breakers in over here on this wall, just so that they're not dealing with that fire. Uh, commonly, you want to bring two golems to flank either side of the attack, uh, one above and one below the entry point. So if you do actually want to wall break into something like this, you can bring a golem up here, a golem down on this cannon, you can wall break in between, and then your troops can come right in. And if you look, you know, you send your golem up here, he's going to draw fire from that archer tower. Uh, probably not going to draw fire from that mortar because the mortar is going to overlook them, having that inner radius that the mortar can't fire on. Wizard Tower is probably going to shoot on it. You bring a golem into this one, you know you're going to get Wizard Tower fire from there, you're going to get cannon fire from there. And that's essentially, you know, you look at what the defenses are on that side, you put a, a golem on that cannon, you put a golem on that wall, you, you're drawing fire from pretty much everything along that entire side. So your wall breakers are going to go right into the wall and break it open without an issue. Um, so, I mean, those are the kind of things that you're looking out for. Same thing or similar thing over here. You put a golem in, he's going to run into that cannon. You put a golem in up here, he's going to run up to that bomb tower. That's not going to be very helpful because you're looking at an archer tower here that's not going to fire on the lower Golem. It's not going to fire on a golem that's sitting up here. Same thing with that mortar. So you you try to bring wall breakers into this wall, and these two defenses, this one as well, they're going to kill all those wall breakers, and you're not getting into the base. So oftentimes, then your troops are going to circle around the perimeter, and you're going to be one very frustrated one or two star player. So. Look at those ranges. Look at the ranges of what, what defenses are going to fire. Where is my golem or giants? Where are they going to go? What defenses are going to fire on those troops? And then as a result, where do I need to put my troops? What do I need to do about it? Um, that's not something that we have necessarily time for right now. Um, but make sure that you have a plan, that you're looking at these things. And the other thing too is, you're not the only one in this clan war. You know, if, you, if you're if you unsure of what to do, ask. Talk to a, a clan mate. They are more than willing to help you figure out what to do, to help you make a plan, or to just say, hey, that that base is, is out of your range for a three-star result because, after all, when you're talking about a base of this level in a, a clan war that's got multiple Town Hall 11s, this one needs to be three-starred if you have a hope to win the war. So 
Uh, make sure you're using all of your resources. Gather all the information that you possibly can. Make a good plan and don't hit that attack button until you're ready. So um, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Look forward to making more videos and uh, keep shooting for three stars.